I'm going to demonstrate the short form which is based on the Yang family Tai Chi Chuan. Tai Chi Chuan means the fist, the body, that terminates in the supreme. I was taught in 1976 by a member of the Yang family, Master Chu King Hong. That's me and my youth in 1976. Master Chu was taught by Yang Sao Chung, and here we have the Grand Masters of the Yang family tradition. The short form is based move for move on the traditional original Yang form, but is only 24 moves and only takes five minutes to perform. Tai Chi Chuan exploits the internal energy of the body, the inner life force, the Chinese call Qi. Qi is the energy responsible for the whole motive force of the organs, the thinking processes, circulation and regeneration. The Qi circulates through the body every 24 hours in one cycle, stimulating and cleansing the, the various blockages in the body. Now, Tai Chi Chuan, if performed correctly, as I'm going to show you, will stimulate the Qi, which is housed in the kidney area. It will circulate it, it will balance it, and also store a surplus. One cycle of Tai Chi is the equivalent to a 24-hour cycle of the Qi. So it's a form of internal acupuncture, yet without needles. Now, Tai Chi Chuan is one aspect of health which is very powerful. And this should be incorporated with a healthy, balanced diet, plus a lifestyle that's conducive to harmony. Therefore, Tai Chi, being the oldest and most successful exercise that's ever been devised, by humankind is an excellent way of stimulating and maintaining the Qi circulation which is the motive force of the body. I've explained this in my book Tai Chi Chuan and the Code of Life to show how Qi is related to the DNA structure. Qi Gong means the science of Qi. Qi is the internal energy, as I explained earlier, that runs through the meridians. Now, in the Yang family style Tai Chi, there's a method of stimulating the energy so the mind and the Qi can come together. And I'm going to show you two distinct postures of each leg, which will enable you to connect the mind and the Qi together to be able to circulate it at will through the body. This is a precursor to the moving of the energy in the Tai Chi form. This is known as movement within stillness. This is a standard Qigong stance with the weight on the back leg being a left stance. 70% of the weight is on the left foot with 30% on the right foot and leg. Here we have the toes slightly turned in, the knees slightly flexed out, the waist relaxed with the hips kept in a horizontal position, the spine straight, the shoulders and elbows down with a circular posture of the hands and arms, and the head kept directly above the spine. This is a standard Qigong stance which is also used in the Tai Chi form itself. Here we have a side view of the left back stance with 70% of the weight over the left leg and 30% over the right foot. Now here you'll see the same alignment principles, toes turned in, knees slightly flexed out, spine pulled straight and the head 
over the spine with the arms making a circular posture. Now these principles are taken into the Tai Chi form itself. Here is a variation of the Qigong and here we have the weight on the right leg, so 70% of the weight, body weight is on the right leg over the right foot and the same principles apply. Toes in, knees out, spine straight, head over the spine with the chest slightly hollowed and the arms kept nice and rounded and the deep breathing obviously will be shown later. Here we have a side view of the right forward stance now obviously these can be mixed and matched, so you can do a left back stance, right back stance, left forward stance, right forward stance, but the same principles always applying, which are chi, energy, circulating principles, being toes in, knees slightly out, spine kept straight, head over the spine, and all the limbs rounded. Mung Ming Gate on governing vessel point four. Now when breathing, the tummy is actually pulled in on the in-breath, gently and smoothly. As you exhale, the abdomen is expanded. So in-breath, withdraw, out-breath, expand. Now this is done whilst holding the Qigong posture. On the acupuncture chart, this is CV6 here, this is the front part, and the back gate is here. So breathe in and out, whilst holding the posture. This will activate the chi and then allow you to circulate through the body when doing the form. This will happen naturally. This is reverse breathing in the uh, Qigong of the Yang family Tai Chi. You will notice that I'm standing on a yin-yang symbol which is an ideal way to have the weight balance distribution and the toes slightly turned in. This allows the energy to be kept yang at the bottom of the body to allow the opposite yin to happen at the top end of the body being the head, the brain. When the body is well rooted yang, just like a building, it is secure foundation. A roof or a head is not secure if the foundation isn't clear. This is known as rooting in Tai Chi. Now you'll notice I'm in a left back stance with 70% of my weight on the left leg, 30% on the right foot and the right leg. I'm now going to turn to show you a right forward stance. Here you again see that the weight and the posture is conditioned by the yin-yang symbol. So now 70% of my weight is on the right leg with 30% on the left leg. This is a right forward stance. This is used in the Qigong as well as the Tai Chi form. The yin-yang breathing in the form is on a yin breath you draw the tummy in, on a yang breath you extend the tummy out. This will now be shown during the form. So yin, breathe in, draw the tummy in. This is a yang breath and move, so exhale. Yin draws the breath in and the chi in. Yang allows the chi to extend whilst the breath is going out. Yin in, yang out. Yin in, yang out. Yin, yang means an out breath. Yin, first part of the crane, yang out. Hope so is always yin, brush knee twist, yang. Yin, brush knee and twist, yang. Yin, yang. Now raise up, 
and draw down all a yin breath and a yin move. Strum the lute, yang. Repulse monkey, first part, yin. Push, yang. Draw in, yin. Expand, yang. Yin. Yang. Yin. Yang. Now the Lan Chao Wei sequence. Yin Hop Sao. Bam Yang. Lai Yin. Jai Press Yang. First part of our Yin. The push forward and upward. Yang. Hop Sao. Yin always. Double hand barn. Right style. Yang. Lai Yin. Jai Yang. An Yin. Yang. Now draw in. Yin. Sideways push. Yang. Draw in. Yin. Sideways push to the right. Yang. First part of single whip. Yin. Then Yang. Cloud hands. Yin. Turning to the left. Yang. Draw in, yin, yang, on the cloud hand, yin, draw in, yang, yin, yang, yin, yang, now yin, First part of the single whip, and then yang as we extend the chi and the breath. Yin, high pat on the horse. Yang, hand under elbow. Yin, cross hands. Yang, extend the leg and the chi. Yin, draw in. Yang for the phoenix. Yin on the turn. Yang on the heel, push. Yin, hop sao. Yang, extended single whip. Yin for the low snake posture. Yang to step up as a golden cockerel. Yin, hop sao. Yang, extended single whip. Yin, the snake. Yang, the golden cockerel. Ching li. Hop sao yin, push to the right, yang. Hop sao yin, yang. Yin, needle at bottom of C, yang. Yin, then open the fan, yang. Shan tong bei. Yin, first part of the snake hand. The snake puts out its tongue, yang. Yin, jin pu. Yang, downward deflect. Yin, the hop sao. Yang, the strike. The closing sequence, yin. Yang for yi fung ji bai, closing the door. Yin. And then gently breathe out, yang. Then the close of the form, yin and close. Short form, yin-yang breathing. These two sections are the silk reeling form, the first part being how the elbows open away from the body and close into the body. Here we have an opening and a closing. Here you'll see the elbows slightly rise and open, and here they will close and slightly circle in. Here we have an open sequence and a slight close. Close, open as the elbows spiral away from the body. Close, spiraling in, open, spiraling away. Close, open. Now the brush knee first part is open, second is close, the right arm. 
Open is always hop sell. Rush knee twist. First hand open, second close. Hop sell is always open. Open, close. Open. Left hand open, right hand close. Raise, open. Open, both hands slightly flexing out and close in the paper. Now, first part of monkey open, close. Open, close. Elbows open out and close in. Open and close. Hoops how is always open. Barn, close. Loy, open. Jai, the elbows slightly close and spiral in. First part of arn is open, the elbows open out, and here they slightly close in. Hupsau is always open. Barn, right style, close. Loi, always open. Jai, always close. Open. And close. Now here the first part is open, second push over, close, open, and then the push, close. The first part of single whip is an open, the elbows spiral out, and the left arm closes. Cloud hands, open, close. Now the opening is the in-between, closing at the end. So it's open, close, open, Close. Opening out, slightly closing in. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. Open, close. Now the single whip, first part open. Now the left hand here, the elbow closes in. High pat on the horse, open. Hand under elbow, the elbows close in together. The first part here is closing, the elbows that is, and then opening out away from the Tan Tien. Closing, and here the elbows draw into the center, closing. Now here we have an open move, and the cross hands close. Open, the elbows away from the body, Hup Sao is always open. Single whip, left hand closing. Snake creeps down, close. The Ching Li, the golden bird, close. Hup Sao, open. Extended single whip, right hand closing. Closing. And the golden bird, close. The elbow drawing in. Hup Sao, open. Fair lady weaves her shuttles to the right. Close. This is the left hand. Open. And the main hand here, being the right one, is a closing, spiralling in posture. This is open, and the right hand here on the needle, the elbow spirals in, so it's a closing move. Open. And the subtle closing with the fan. Now we close for the first part of the snake posture. Snake hand, the left hand spirals in. So it's a closing posture. Jin Pu. Open. Downward deflect. Closing with the left hand. Hup Sao is always open. The punch, the chai, close. Seal tightly, close the door, open. The elbow spiral out with a subtle closing. Here we have open, across hands, close. Here we have an open, elbows opening out, and a very subtle closing. And the end of the form. That is the open and close, the first part of the spiral form. Chan Su Jin, part one. Master Chu called this the Chi form, as the waist turns left and right, spiraling the Chi from the upper to the lower part of the anatomy. So here we have back and the waist pushing forward. This is the Tan Tian. Back, forward. Here we have another back, and the Mung Ming gate presses backward. Here we have a left and a right. You'll see the waist turning. 
here we have the waist turning to the left, turning to the left again. Here the waist turns to the right, and turning to the right yet again. Left turn. Now here we have a back. Here the back. Now here we'll have a right turn and a left turn. Here we have a yet again left and right. The waist turns to the weight over the right leg. Right and left. This is neutral and here the waist turns to the right. Here the waist is flat on, which is back. Here we have left and back. Left, back. Right, back. Left, back. The hips are squared off. Here we have right, left turning, the waist turning to the right, Turning to the left, back, squared off, and a turn to the left. Here we have back and right. Left turning, right turning, back. The hips are squared off in arm, and then a turn to the right. Here the hips are squared off back, which is flat, and then to the left, back, and then turning to the right. This is the navel, round by the chihoi. And left. Here we have a sharp turn to the right and to the left. Right turning, left turning. Right turning, left turning. Right, the waist turning to the right, left, the marker being just below the navel, which is the chihoi. Here we have right and left. Now the single whip, back, the hips are squared off, and a left turn with the waist. Back, high pat on the horse. Left again, hand under elbow. Here we have back. And the kicks are always neutral. Down, the phoenix movement is right. The waist turns to the right. Now we have a turn to the left and a turn to the right. Neutral. Left turn and extended single whip. Right, waist turns to the right. And back, the golden bird stands on one leg. Right turn, left turn of the waist, and back. Here we have hooks out to the left turn, and right, fair lady. Back, and left. This is back for the needle and down. Raise up back, turn to the right, and the waist turns to the left. Back, snake hand, right turn. Left, neutral, right turn, back. Left, turn to the right, closing posture, left, here we turn to the right, and now back, this is the Mung Ming gate turns to the back, now the waist comes forward, very slightly, as in the beginning of the form, and the close, back, that is the end of the Qi form, which is the waist spiralling and is the Chan Tzu Jin Part 2. Now a summary of the form, broken down into the 24 postures. 
you will see the opening sequence. Just a step, heel and toe. This is an in-breath. Raising the hands. And it's an open. And close of the elbows. Now we tuck in our tunic. Up, over, and here the left hand in the next posture will draw down for the next set of postures which is part the wild horse's mane. And here we have an open and a left. This is an in-breath and a right and an open. Part the wild horse's mane, third time, left. Now the crane calls its wings. Brush knee and up goes the hand to simulate the cooling of the heart energy. Hupsau, transition linking posture into brush knee and twist, which is three times, a left and a close. Hupsau, right, and closing of the left arm, elbow. Hupsau, turn, this is obviously an out breath, and close of the right elbow. Raise up, and tsai, pull down. So fe pe pa, strum the lute, which stimulates the heart chi. Now the four repulse monkeys, ta nyin ho. This paddles the chi up the spine and down the front of the body, the two main meridians of the body. The ren mo and the du mo. This is an open, and here we have a close and a back. This is an in-breath, and here we have the out-breath. Oops, out, open. Barn, close, and left. Len Chao Wei, left style. Lai, Jai, press, on. Now the hoops out which will link left style, grass bird's tail, then chow way, with right style. So here we have a close and a right. Open, left. Exhale, close. And arm, forward, upward push, which stimulates the heart chain. Now the yin-yang hand. Draw in. Sideways loy and sideways arm. In, in, yang, out. Single whip, first part, in, step, stretch out, left and close. The next sequence will be the cloud hands. Here's the primary movement and the first cloud hand to the right. One. Cloud hand to the left and back and round. The second cloud hand, Yun Sao. Yun being cloud, Sao, hand. And you'll see the waist twisting and the hands opening, closing, and right. Left, open, close. Now the single whip. Now high pat on the horse, Kao Tan Ma. Followed by hand under elbow, which is part of the posture. Now we have strike the phoenix ears, which is down. Raise the kick. Draw in. And this is a closing right yang move. Now turning. The 
This is an in breath. Another heel kick. Is exhale, yang. The hook sail for the extended single whip. Now we have the snake that creeps down. Shushen. The golden cockerel stands on one leg. Now the hoop sow, which takes us into the right style extended single whip. The snake creeps down. The golden cockerel stands on one leg. Hoop sow is a linking move. And the fair lady weaves her shuttles to the right. Hoop sow. The fair lady weaves her shuttles to the left. Now we have a brush knee and Hoi Ti Chen. Take the needle from the bottom of the sea, which is a metaphor for getting something magical from the bottom of the ocean. Now we open the fan, Shan Tong Pei. Now the white snake puts out its tongue. Pai Xie Tu Xin. And you'll see that the left hand mimics a cobra's head striking out, but it also stimulates the energies of the eye. Chin Bu Pan Lan Choi. Step up. Downward deflect. Parry, which is the hoop sow. And punch, the joy, which is the liver stroke. Now the closing sequence, Yi Fung Chi Bai, is close the door, sometimes close the temple door, sometimes translated as seal tightly. Being a metaphor for closing, shutting down. Now we have the cross hands, Sub Chi Sao. Chinese, for closing is an X like 10. The cross hand, sub chi sao. Now we close the form itself. The 24 postures. Okay, now that you've been able to see the demonstration that I put forward, even though practicing to begin with may seem awkward, you have actually started to circulate and stimulate the chi flow in the body. So even at this level, to begin with, the energy will still be in a state of activity which will cause harmony. And harmony is what Tai Chi is about. It's balancing the mind, and the body, and that's the energy of both, to create a place of stability so one can run one's life in a more balanced way.